Welcome and hello. How's it going, guys? Um, it's PK here. Now we're gonna have a sort of story to tell about my childhood. RuneScape, as you can see by the title, which I don't even know what I'm gonna title this yet, but yeah. So, anyways, if you hear in the background my washing machine going, um, it's because this my uh, I have to use my webcam mic, as I said in previous videos. Um, and it picks up a lot of background noise, so I'm sorry about that, and I don't know if I'm sitting too close to my computer, because my mic is like a meter away from me, and fucking, I don't know if I, like, change my voice, that, uh, I'm not too sure. Anyways, okay, so, not many people know this, um, but I have played RuneScape for quite a long time, um, I mean, I've, I've seen videos of people like 06, 07 Scape and saying how cool it was and stuff. Um, I'm not sure of the exact uh, date that I started playing, but I'm pretty sure it was around 05. Now, this is not my first account. Uh, I made this account coming up three years now, I believe. Uh, I, I think I've done pretty good in the three years I've played it. Um, this is obviously my main account, and I don't really get into the pure kind of thing, um, so yeah, but I, well, I have had, like, okay, so I had a couple accounts before this, um, this is, I think, my fourth account, my first ever account, I've still got, I can probably use it, I forgot the password, but I can just probably use the, uh, recoveries to get it back, and so on and so forth, and that account has about, like, 86 woodcutting, not botted, um, what's this account, 84 woodcutting, I've done most of the, I've done all the free to play quests at least four times each because uh, I did it for a friend, uh, some of them, and I did them all on my account. Uh, I'm not even sure if I have done all the free to play ones now because like the new ones come out, so on and so forth. So, anyways, like back in the day, there was a day where me and my IRL friends all played. It was freaking like there was no Skype back in. The, well, there was Skype, but we didn't use it. Um, that, that shit was unheard of. Um, so, uh, on Saturdays, because my, one of my friends that played didn't have a computer, he, he actually got pretty good at, at RuneScape, he, we, he still use, well, he doesn't play anymore, but, um, another friend of his uses his account, so I guess that's account sharing, but he quit, so, um, he doesn't use it, so that's fine. Um, so, he used to come to my house and stay on Friday nights or Saturdays, or like, come on the weekends. And uh, my dad, um, well, my dad's work, because he owns the place, um, They he owns, like, they had, like, three computers there. I mean, him used to jump on the two computers so we could both play at once, because I had a computer at home, but we kind of had to share the gameplay and, you know, XP waste and whatnot. So anyways, we'd, like, we are in both in full room of, like, 70 stats on, on each, thinking we're pretty hearty hitting, like, 16s with our rune skims and 18s with the rune two-handers and with like 80 strength or whatever um we would go up to the hill giants um i'm not sure how the wilderness is now um, i know it's different by a lot but uh we used to go up to the hill giants there and uh there's no this was back before the ep and stuff so help the ditch and you're fucked so pretty much um there would be multi there and usually there'd be a couple of teams um, it wasn't that easy to kill someone, because, like, rune skimmies, well, this was free-to-play P game, by the way, like, we, um, we weren't as good member P game, well, back in the day, when you member P would and used, like, a Dragon Longsword, that, Dragon Longsword was my favorite weapon back in the day, that was, like, it was, like, 100k, because there's no GE, it was, like, 100k, uh, you had to work your butt off for like two hours picking flax to get it because you don't know any other money making ways and um, You get a dragon longsword and you don't want to lose that shit if you go PKing that shit took you years and like When you walk around in full rune with dragon longsword or the dragon skimmy I mean monkey madness was fucking the hardest thing to ever do because it Just the boss fight. I think I died on that. I mean it was horrendous really uh, another memory I have is going out like with a DDS, and I think DDSs were used to, they actually used to be called DD, and in brackets S, I'm pretty sure, um, 
that is. If you do know that, back me up on that. Leave a comment if you know that. Um, I know that Glories had eight charges, if you didn't know that, and they were 100k each. So was the Obby Shields. They were around 400k each. You'd have to, like, you'd see someone at the bank saying bank sale, and you trade them and put, like, a whip and, like, some tock a tockle shield, and you'd be like, holy shit, this looked, like, it looked amazing. Tockle Shield took up a whole square nearly, like, it was much bigger than it currently looks like in your inventory now. Um, th I just miss those days, man. So there was a, a long period of when I did quit the game, basically, was uh, I did quit for a couple of years, and I've been pretty much on and off since then. Like, recently, I've only just come back to the game. You can say a couple months back into the game. Check my A-log. It's open to to for viewing but um there's a lot of levels on that recently so yeah um uh, i've got three sets to go to 80 everything and that's going to be pretty amazing when i have that and that was back when you go to the web page and it said there are currently like three hundred and twenty thousand people playing and it's like holy shit now they're struggling to get not even a hundred thousand at their peak and you used to go to log in the top eight worlds would have would all be full so you couldn't join them um at all like there was no timer like countdown thing to log into that world you just have to hopefully that it wasn't at 2000 i think on it was swift kit which i'm using right now i can move it um the swift kit here it basically gives you high scores and stuff like that and all these other tools and just heaps of stuff like that um so i think swift kit you could click login and it would eventually log in um to that world like world 2 for example but it would take quite a long time to get there because it was full just all the time now i don't have much experience with the valley park i remember going there and people were like selling virix flail 700k it's like holy shit what are these items i didn't even know and it was just amazing the community uh i remember santa i remember easter eggs being like two mil each um and i was like fuck buying that shit that shit's just a waste of money and yeah uh the first god armor i said uh god i just stuffed that up the first god armor set i had was guffix because it was the cheapest out of the three and uh if you want to know how i made it uh i know that this may sound weird but i brought use for what you logs for 200 each and um that would be at the Verrock big bank well that's what it used to be called back in the day because there's only two banks there's no ge or anything so it'd be just outside the Verrock big bank and you'd say I, I used to say buying or use 200 each like that was the fastest thing i could ever type um i'll try to show you now hold on let me go wow that was really slow but i i used to be able to just spam that really fast and uh, basically, I would sell them after I bought as much as my GP stack that they were for, like two, uh, two twenty each or two fifteen each, um, just whatever I could find for, like sometimes two ten each if um, there was not that many people buying. But if you think about it, back in the day, if you flesh that shit into a U longbow and L kit, you'd be making fucking. Well, bowstrings used to be like two, like three hundred each back in the in the day. Um, so it was actually kind of worth crafting them in a way, but uh, yeah, so you could craft an elk them and make bank back in the day. I want to know what your guys' best memory is, so leave in the comments uh, a memory that you have, if you have played old RuneScape, or if you haven't, just leave a memory of the best uh, moment that you've had so far in the game. My best memory, well not my best memory, but my one of the funniest memories ever, uh, the one I was telling you about, who we went to play at uh, my dad's house, I mean, my, not my dad's house, my dad's work, and we both could play, um, so him, the, he's who I'm talking about, uh, when I stayed at his house, his neighbor also played, and uh, we so we used to go over there, because he didn't obviously have a computer, and would stay up like all night, like, 5pm uh, dawn RuneScape, those were the days. Um, he, his neighbor was okay at RuneScape, I guess. Um, he played every day. He got like a few 99s back in the day that was sort of hard to get. Um, yeah, and he um, he died PKing or something like in full arms. And back in the day, that shit was like 6 mil. With eight. That was bang. And he died and lost that. Or it wasn't arms, it was like DH or something. And he died and lost it. And then he's like, 
He's like, no, I'm going to PK it all back. So what he did was he went to his bank and went withdraw all but one. Oh, he got like every single rune that he had in his bank so he could do heaps of different uh, mage spells. And he got full arums and stuff. He was risking back in the day about 15 mil. That was a lot back then. Um, I remember, I mean, I didn't buy or sell GP, but I remember uh, that gold uh, was one... Ten dollars New Zealand for uh, one mil, and that was that's crazy money now if you think about it. And anyways, he went out in his full arms and all his runes, and he was uh, like doing ice barrage and all that sort of shit. And um, some guy just DDS him four times, like hit, hitting twenty twenty each time, and he he got dropped. We were cracking up, laughing. Um, like it was hilarious, um, cause he, cause he basically got his whole bank like Fury and all back when Fury was like eight mil or ten mil or something. Um, I remember when Fury was sixteen mil. What the hell am I thinking? Um, also another time, he he was in the jewel arena and uh, he challenged some person or something. They had a they had a quick like just a fun stake and uh, he killed them. Like he was in like Torags and. Bando, I don't know, Bandos wasn't out there, he was in Torags and Fury and all that sort of stuff, and uh, basically the person traded him and said, here, have some free sharks, um, but show me your inventory or something, uh, I'll, th they told him to take off all his armor and traded him and said, show me your inventory, I'll give you some free food, so he basically put in all of his items in his inventory, and they were matching it for food, so basically you're thinking that you're receiving like a full inventory of sharks on top of your items and basically he accepted um twice and he just traded them like 30 mil or so like this was when he <laughs> rebuilt and he traded them all his bank for like a few sharks and we were sitting there like whoa what the fuck have you done <laughs> and we're, then after we started laughing and uh and base and he followed them he's like wow reported and <laughs> like like, you can't report them, you just traded them your whole bank for some sharks. I do have heaps more memories and st stupid phone. God, XP waste bloody phone calls. Anyways, where was I? Um, So yeah, I do have a lot more stories to tell and like stuff that I have done back in the day. But this video is actually getting quite long and I haven't even told you that many stories. Well, I don't think I have. But yeah, so, um, I hope you have, well, I'm not too sure if anyone's even still watching, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, as I said before, leave in the, oh, I like these things. Um, I'm currently using my Festive Aura, um, just because uh, the Stealing Creations world was, like, I ran out of uh, Stealing Creations thing, uh, Fast SC, and I usually do construction with uh, a Stealing Creation hammer. It's getting quite big now, I might go this soon. Uh, actually, no, I've got heaps of dungeoneering to do. It's going to be a, f a pain in the ass, but, um, but yeah, the double dungeoneering tomorrow, I think. I haven't even seen a news post about it, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave in the comments if you have a story. And